we give you heaps of variety here at the Copy Bush Kid Video Super Show. Yeah. G'day folks, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid. I'm out again today. The Equinox 900 that I've borrowed. And uh, I reckon we might head up Rubbish Dump Gully, see what we can find. We'll slip the six inch coil on. I'll probably run it in open settings just to <laughs> play with my mind, I suppose. And uh, We'll just take it from there. Who knows what we'll find, but we won't find it unless we get going. So come on, let's go. Off we are. Well, I'm back up again today uh, in the upper middle section of Rubbish Dump Gully. Uh, there is no, look at our sky, bloody beautiful. There is no uh, thunderclouds today driving me home. I'm back where I was before and I've got... Where are we? That one. There's a 90. That's the one I'm after. The 90, 91. We'll give it a give it a test run there and see what we've actually got. It may be a uh, another bottle top, but who knows what we find? Oh, there we go. That's what we find. There is a lot of rubbish here. Here, what's that then? Something. M8 something. Anyway, well, we can see it better there. Oh, there's a star on top of it. Oh look, just for the exercise, we'll have a bit of a clean up of it and we'll see what it actually says. Be back with the inner tick. There we are, we're back. Still none the wiser. MB. A lot of symbology there. Sign for females. And women. With the circle and the cross underneath. But, if you do that, that's a sign of Taurus. Then we've got a five-pointed uh, star. There's lots of stuff there. Don't know what it is, though. But it is an aluminium cap, and it does give a bloody good signal. But let's see if we can get something a little bit better out of the ground. Well, the, the rain that we've had this year, I've never seen the grass, whoops, and everything so lush up in through these gullies, and it is making it very difficult to detect. I'm just sort of going for the bare patches. I'm down here by a track, and as I said, I've not bothered to learn the signals. I'm just going for repeatable targets. And have a look at this one. 76, 78, 79. Just in that one little area. That's repeatable. It wants to be dug. It's not too far down. Let's oblige it. Of course, the ground is toughening up as well. Mm. Oh yeah, that should, that should just about do us. So, what will... <laughs> something in the 70s bring us? I suppose in a rubbish pile you are going to get a few of these. They do give a repeatable signal. And that was what we were after, so we shouldn't be disappointed. Would have liked something else. And I am running in a uh, mad zone. So as you can see, just factory preset. I am wide open. So I suppose it deserves me, serves me right with what I get. But um, yeah, we might pick up something in the lower end that I don't normally detect uh, with my discrimination. So naturally enough, I'm hoping for a gold ring, but who knows what'll pop out. Let's keep going. One of these things 
I am being awash with signals. There's just bloody everything everywhere going over. Fifty-seven now, but it was up in the seventies. It was constant, so I dug it. And out of a rubbish pile. There we go. We can see that. Yeah, one of my old bloody suspender buckles. Oh, oh, this is a different one. It's got different writing on there. Don't know what that says. Slightly smaller. But look at that, the design still works. We can move those. What's that say? Yeah, I can give it a bit of a rub. And it says, British. <laughs> I wonder if that was because everyone else says Paris. This is British. Yeah, that's a bit better. Anyway. We found it. There's something else written there. That's not a bad little find in a rubbish pile. We'll take that. We'll keep going. From down here, I got a, a solid E41 signal. We can see that. I've just managed to... Oh, it's complete too. There we go. This is one of my favourite design of spoons. They refer to it as the fiddleback. That's a nice little one. I don't believe it to be silver, as you can see, someone's just given it a bloody little kiss. And there seems to be copperiness around it, but that's a that's a fair-sized teaspoon. Like, if you had a teaspoon of coffee... <laughs> Ping, ping, ping! Now, up in this section here, yeah, we do have <clears throat> some sort of hallmark-esque stampings um, probably if I do it that way the D looks more D-like D and someone or other so now that'll be silver plated but regardless they're a nice spoon we might put that one in the bloody pocket Anyway, deserves to be taken home to a better place, more so than a rubbish pile. Well, I'm out in another spot. <coughs> uh, this one isn't so much a rubbish pile as where there was a building. I'm trying to keep you out the wind. It's a bit windy. You can see a flat area up there. There was a dwelling there. Lots of bricks dwelling here. I think from memory there was one up there and there's a whole little villagey type hamlet area going up along there. So, we've got the 900 going. I've already done my, my noise cancel and my ground balance. What I did want to show you though, though I am in factory preset, factory preset iron bias is four. I, I'm gonna drop it down to zero. Potentially I'll be digging more iron, but I'm not going to be masking anything. And then I'm going to hold that down again, which will bring me back to my recovery speed. And I reckon I'm probably, for where I am, let's do six. We'll see what that gets us. And I'm in the park setting because it has the five tones. And uh, I've got buttons out here. I've got the 1919 Peace Medallion. Uh, harmonica reeds and all sorts of bits and pieces so anyway it's not a tip site it is just stuff from buildings and diggers being in the area so anyway with the six inch coil on we'll go and play hell see what we can find well i said i would be potentially digging a little bit more iron i did have a all oh, 9 to 11 signal reckoned it'd be a um a 22 casing as it was uh, I got a 49 to 51 signal. Thought, oh, geez, you know, that's not too bad. I'll dig that up. And that's what we got. It is steel, not what I wanted. But having said that, that is very cool. 
You can see the chamfering on the points there. Someone's taken a nice bit of time to make that right. That would be uh, where you had two pieces of timber joining in a T-section. This is the piece that goes over there and just gives it a bit of bracing. It's very, very nice. Only a little ripper of a find. Yeah, we'll see if we can find something else, eh? Hey? Well, coming in at a 1718 was this part of a suspender buckle. There you go. Obviously the frame's all broken away, but that was what was left for us to find. It was a fairly digby signal. Signal. It uh, certainly wanted to be dug out of the ground. We obliged it, and we'll keep going. Well, from out of there at a 31.34, and fairly constant, like it wanted to be dug also, we have that, which is a umbrella runner. It's the bit that all the spokes go on to to push up the, the weatherproofy bit. I always reckon they should have a better name than just a runner. I'm running up the bloody shaft of the umbrella. There should be some other magnificent name so that it could say, Oh yes, I go up the sticky outy bit of the brella of um... Rightio, we'll dig this one out together. Well, I've dug it out the ground and it is here. You hear by all that double, triple tapping, it's, it's very close. Now, I've got it in five tones, because uh, I'm in park one. Standard settings, except for the fact that I have my recovery speed in six. I'm pretty sure my iron bias is zero. Yep, there we go. We'll go back to the six. We'll go back to there. And, you know, don't discount what that could be coming in so low. A lot of people don't dig the low numbers. We got that suspender buckle uh, or part thereof out last time. Gold will come in low. I don't know what uh, setting on park one it will, but... Oh, that's what we've got. It'll get us lead as well. So there, there's a little pistol shot. Little, mean, short range, still wouldn't want it going through you. Do a lot of damage. Could have the potential to just go past through and not hit anything. Ah, could hit something vital too. Anyway, that's what we've got. We'll take that and we will keep going. And I'll film this one because it's constant. And as you can see, it's about, oh, it's, it's, 29 nudging 30 and you might be able to see that i'm actually chasing shade so i'm just going from shade patch to shade patch through here but anyway just down here we have a constant signal which is what i've been looking for i've got a lot of flip plop but now we've got this it's not very deep you can see the numbers within two you know 29 to 31 it might not be much. That would probably equate to something around a, I don't know, a 15, 16 in old 800 speak. Just there. What will it be? We'll find out. Oop, I can see it already. There we go. Actually, before I touch it, everyone see that? There we go. Oh, it's not what I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to be a toe cap. That's not. That is a keyhole escutcheon that would have been put on with two tacks. One there and one on the side that has broken off. Just to protect everything, make it look a bit swish. Hey. Now, as soon as I saw that, I thought it was going to be a bloody toe cap. But I was wrong. Let's put that in the pocket. And we'll keep going. Let's do another one. Let's see if we can guess what this one is. Ready? You see, it's just... Just in there. So, we will 
Have a go. See what we can find that it is. Big piece of the porch there. That can come out too. Right. That's still telling me. In the ground deeper again. Mmm. We'll come at it from this side. Oh, okay. That went soft. Is it just a piece of steel? What will it be? Oh, that looks very steel like actually. This, oh, and it looks very rusty like. I'm half tipping. That's what it is. Yep. Now that is half the head of a hammer. We can see there she's split there. Where my thumb is, where I'm trying to work the stuff away, is where the wooden handle will have gone. And that's sort of a cross peen end on it, probably used by a blacksmith. There you go. There's your engineering lesson for the, I won't say for the day, maybe just for the moment. But yeah, that's what it is. Head off a uh, blacksmith's hammer. A cross peen one to be precise. We'll keep going. Okay, I got a signal down here. It was, what was it, 39.42? And I've dug iron. And you go, yep, radio, he's dug iron. Now, I've dug iron. I'm going to go out and guess that that is potentially uh, banding off a rifle, an old rifle, because it's nice and solid down the bottom. And you can see this bit of semicircularness. I reckon that's where the ramrod would have gone uh, underneath the stock of the barrel. That's my call. That's what I think it is. I could be completely wrong, but by the same token, I might be pretty bloody close to the mark. Anyway, at that, we'll keep going. Here's a little strange one with all the signals that it's giving. It's nice and solid this way. You know, 36, 38, 40, 41. Doot, 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 doot. Then they all change. But something that you know, sounds really horrible that way. But not too bad that way. So, as we don't know what's in the ground, we don't know the machine that well, we're going to do a bit of ground truthing. Which, read into that, dig it. Oh, oh you rotten sod. <sighs> Can everyone see that? There we go. There we go. The old shoddy end. Now, yeah. we could, if we so wished, find out where that's from and potentially how old it is. Actually, let's, let's find... Here we go. This is where the ruse have been lying and sunbaking. Well, up here, just for the point of the exercise. There's London. Kurt. Is that Curtis? Curtis. Number 12. Mm. E-B-L oh, Interesting Maybe I will take that home and we can find out Actually how old it is Probably at least be a, a hundred Anyway We will keep going 
How did we strike a jackpot in that hole? Multiple signals, but they were fairly good, sort of 28-ish. And look at this. That is the smallest fulcrum end of a stick of inches that I have ever found. I've cleaned it up. I can't see any inch marks in it at all, but that's still cool. And then in the same hole, a button. Now, this is a ripper. I've already read what it is. So if we go in like that, it says K and A McVickers, Londonderry. Londonderry, I tell you. I, the other thing I'll tell you is, look at the workmanship in that. They are a little button, like there's me, whoop, there's me fingernail there. And all the writing's perfect. We can still read it, you know, 150 years or so later. But not only have we got that, we got a third signal. And don't say I don't go all the way for you folks. Look at that. It's a clump. Oh, oh, it's not a coin clump. Everyone can find them. That is a button clump. Oh, look at that. It even fell away to... This is a, a two-piece one. Let's put it up on the knee there. That'll have writing on the back of it. It was made in two pieces, so you've got that piece in the middle there. Ah, oh, we have to clean that up and see what it is. Back with you in a tick. Here we are, we're back. This is the back of the button. You can see how the edge has been rolled over and there's writing there and I can't read that. But if we do turn it over, we can read that it is H, I'm going to say E, and M, Moses, London. That's a ripper find. They must have used good stuff. Usually that pin has been, would have been steel, and it usually rusts away, or the back rusts away. But this is a very high-quality buddy button. Not your standard four-holer. We give you heaps of variety here at the Copy Bush Kid Video Super Show. Or words to that effect. But anyway, we'll take that one and we'll keep going. That's where I got my buttons in the fulcrum. I got a bloody bike brake pad, of all things. But up here... Up here, I've got what I've been looking for, or at least the signal anyway. High, repeatable, not very deep, and just in a small area. Oh, can I smell the scent of silver in the air? I certainly hope so. It has it's been a little while, must be nearly over a week. Anyway, let's see how we go. Are we out? No, I reckon we're still probably in. Yep, yeah, I'll take it from the other side. I've got a tree in the way too at the moment. Oh. Take it from there, um, down. Oh no, did I just see a bottle top? Did I just see a bottle top? No, I didn't. Good. Okay, on with the game again. We are on the edge. We are on the edge. <laughs> it might not be silver, but that looks thick. That looks thick. Will it be token-esque? I think it might be. I think it might be. Look at the chunkiness of that bloody thing. Will you? Oh, don't be a hole in the centre. Who shot the bloody thing? <sighs> no. Oh, I'll clean it up and I'll get back to you. Well, there we have it. 
1858. And that is a Professor Holloway's token. Pills and ointments. And you know what? That's actually one of the better ones I have seen. But I wouldn't want to get in the way of whoever did this. Just look at that. They got poor old Professor Holloway fair in the bloody head. That's... Yeah, that was a bloody good coin. Good token. Nice detail. I've seen them way worse than this. And now we've got one that's been shot at. Bloody hell. The things people do when they're bored. Anyway. It was a good signal. Good repeatable signal. Let's hope we can find another token or a silver or something like that. It hasn't been shot at. It's in good condition. Anyway, I'll keep going. Yeah, down here, 2122, under a rock. And what would you get for that? You get a little brass flower. It's a bit cute. But that's what you'd get. So, you know, I'm a notorious bloody cherry picker. Those are the numbers I wouldn't normally dig. On, on the 900, I would be discriminating from 34 up. Why 34? Half sovereign comes in at 35, and I just don't want to miss one of those. But I wouldn't normally be digging these, and that's what we've got. Nice, nice little bit of bloody brass work. And there's multiple mega signals all through this area. I think, I think we've got a chimney here. There's one over there behind the bushes, and I think there's one behind me too. So, a lot of, a lot of stuff in this area. Big old tree too. Anyway, we'll keep going. We'll see what else we can find. Well, can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? What have we got? Oh, you ripper. An anchor. That is cool. I wonder if we'll... More than likely, we are not going to find the other half to it. I might actually have a wreath at home that could fit it, but let's clean this up and see what we've got properly. There we are. We're back in the sunlight. Look at that. Big old anchor. That's cool. Wasn't really expecting that, though I was coming out you know, I was really hunting for Vicky Silver, but um, by geez, we'll take that, no worries. Well, there we have it. A uh, bit of an interesting hunt. Uh, just bits and bobs in the in the rubbish dumps and that, but that uh, last little house site we were at, or the house area where there were quite a few dwellings, yeah, we've got some interesting stuff. It's a shame the poor old bloody Professor Holloway's had his head taken out. But as Nathan would say, you get that on the big jobs. So anyway, it was a good time out. Am enjoying the 900. Uh, and yeah, certainly finds the goods for us. Anyway, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting. But remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. I'll catch you next time.